Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? It's hump day. Woo -woo! Ronnie, how happy are folks who save hundreds of dollars switching to Geico? I'd say happier than a camel on Wednesday. Hump day! Get happy. It's hump day. It's Wednesday. Welcome to the Daily Snack. And we've had so much fun this week. I hope if you haven't checked out Monday or Tuesday's Daily Snack uh, episodes, that you have a chance when you're done watching this one to go back and check it out to see all of the fun that you missed. And yesterday talking about our key this week to extreme living. Disciples of Jesus show kindness to others even if they don't deserve it. Today it's time to head back to the Winter Extreme X Factor Games to find our heroes Rock Steadfast and his interesting partner, Scooter. Now the next event up at the Winter Extreme X Factor Games is the bobsled run. One of my absolute favorites every time the Winter Olympics runs around. If you've never watched people bobsled, it's insane and extreme. They, they all get together outside this big metal sled thing. They push it as fast as they can, typically scream it. Ah! as they run it. I don't know what the screaming does for them. And then they jump in it, they duck their heads. They've got helmets on, which is good because they go hurtling down an icy track. They just kind of steer it by leaning and they try to see how fast they can hurtle down a mountain in essentially a projectile with no airbags or seat belts or anything. And if they crash, they can get really hurt. Uh, it's a little insane. It's really extreme. Let's see how Rock and Scooter do with it. There you are! My Wait. favorite teammate! I've been looking everywhere yeah, for man. you! We, we, look, 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 look. Will you sign this? No, no. Oh, oh. We have some serious things to talk about. Oh, great, great, great. Talk time with my hero, Rock Scooter. Stepback. Scooter, we have to talk, man. Oh, Seriously. I totally got it. I know you want me to keep my cool and keep a cool head. But what? Next Scooter. Time. Scooter. We need to talk. Oh, yeah, I totally got it. I know that you want me to remember everything that you taught me because this is an important competition. I'll Scooter, do anything. Scooter, we need to talk, man. Listen oh, to no, me. No, no, it's okay because I already have all of my gear and it's ready because that's the number one thing. Silence! <laughs> Look, man, we're not talking about gear. We're not talking about past things. We need to talk about our next competition. Oh, what is, is it? Bobsledding. Oh, bobsledding, that's my favorite. You zoom in and you zoom out and you scooter, turn. Scooter, 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 please, please, please. You need to no, 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 no. You need to understand how important this event is for me, important? man. Important? Because this has been so hard. Look, Scooter, we need to have a great run and a great oh. effort out of you. Dude, anything for you. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm going to win. Let's go. Bobsledding, yeah! Sports fans, I'm Bob Kudos. And it's time for the two men bobsled qualified races. Teams must do well if they want to qualify to be in the final race. We go live to our reporter in the field, Snowplow. Thanks, Bob. Up next is this year's underdog team, Team Steadfast. And they're off. Not the best start I've seen, but, but at least they're moving. A little choppy as they enter turn number one. Here comes turn number two, and three. They'll need to keep the sled steady if they want to. What's this? It appears they have lost control of the sled, and they are now moving backwards down the straightaway. Hopefully they can get turned around, and I don't believe it. They are spinning out of control as they cross the finish line. Now let's see. It, it, it seems like, despite all their mistakes, Yes, uh, Team Steadfast has just barely qualified. They are going to the finals, folks. Thanks, Snowplow. The championship race for the two-man bobsled is coming up next. I'm Bob Coons. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> that was awesome! I totally got dizzy, full of dizziness! No, 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 whoa, 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 you think that was good? You yeah! Think that was, think that was fun? Oh, it was fun! I wasn't dizzy! Think that wasn't fun, it wasn't good, it wasn't great, man. We just had the worst qualifying time today, and all I hear you is being excited about being dizzy. Um, yeah! You know what, man, I told you how important this was to me. It's like you're not even hearing me. I mean, what happened to that good start, the good fast start, those the good start. tight, tight turns? Yeah. And what in the world was this whole spin-out thing, man? You ruined our qualifying run. Well, 
But, 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 but we totally qualified, Rock. Isn't that yeah, good? Yeah, 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 but that, that was no thanks to you, man. No, no thanks. No thanks to you and none no of thanks that. thanks to me. I'm tired of hearing this extreme. I'm tired of hearing all this. Woo! I mean, come on, man. I was a champ before you. We haven't won one single event because of what you were doing to me. But You know what? I'm tired of all this. But, but I, I didn't mean to do any of that. Look, look, I just, no, 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 no. Get this through your head. If you mess up next round, we are through, okay? Through! And we're back for the bobsled finals. I, Bob Kudos. Yes! All the qualifying runs are finished, and Snowplow is going to keep us up to speed on this race. <laughs> up to speed! That's a good one! <laughs> Snowplow? <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Well, Team Steadfast is ready for their final run, and the crowd is anxious to see if they'll do better than their qualifying run. And they're off. That was a very quick start. Very steady through the first turn. Up next to turns two and three. Doing great on the straightaway. An excellent finish by Team Steadfast. That was an amazing improvement over their qualifying run. Thanks, Snowplow. Well, it looks like Team Steadfast is a shoe in for first place. Wait, wait a moment. What's this? Snowplow has some late breaking news for us. Snowplow? Uh, Bob, I've, I've just received word from an official that Team Steadfast started before receiving the green light. Let's look at the footage. Oh my, yes! Looking at that replay, Rock Steadfast clearly went over the starting line too early. Oh, that's a very unfortunate mistake and very bad news for Team Steadfast. This means that despite the great run, they're disqualified. Yes, I'm afraid Rock Steadfast single-handedly cost the team victory on that one. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Kudos. You know, I do not believe this. I've been bobsledding for years, and now I am the one who has disqualified us. It's all my fault. Rock, dude, we told he did awesome! Yeah. What are you talking about? I disqualified us. It's my fault. Dude, that's okay, man. We all make mistakes. Rock, but you're still the best bobsledder that I know. Well, obviously not. And here's why. What? I'm the one who disqualified us, and I was really mean to you earlier. Yeah. You should be pretty upset with me. But, but Rock, I'm not upset with you at all. What? No, you need to cheer up, man. You're the Rock Steadfast, dude. You're the best skier, snowboarder, skater, and, and dude, you're the best bobsledder around. Oh, dude, you are awesome at these competitions. Hey, 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 do you remember two years ago who won the skiing competition with two broken ski holes? Um. It was you. That's who, because you're extreme like that. What about the snowboard race? Well, you totally broke your boot, and what did you do? I did ski with one leg all the way down there. And you got the goal to the extreme! What about the cross-country ski race? What? Oh, dude, you remember that? You yeah. were totally in the lead, but you stopped to help the reporter who fell through the ice. That's right, and you know what? That was pretty cool. It was cool, and you know what? You are the reason that I come to all these competitions every year. Oh, you are my hero, and you know what? There's still a lot of competition left, and we have a great you know, chance of winning. Scooter, Scooter, why are you being so nice to me, man? I cost us the victory, and I was really mean to you earlier. Yeah, man, I yeah. said some hard things. I know, I know, I know. But just like you said, we're on the same team, and we need to look out for each other because we're extreme like that. You know, what? you know what? You're right, Scooter, and thanks for being so kind to me and so forgiving. I'm really sorry about earlier, man. Oh, dude, really it's sorry. totally cool. It's totally yeah. cool. All right, well, how about this? Let's get our stuff together. Our stuff? And we're going to prepare for our next event. Come oh, on, buddy, dude, let's go. Hey, 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 since you like me so much, can you sign my shoe? Uh, for you, I will. All right. Let's go. Scooter. Did you see how Scooter responded with kindness even though Rock was mean? Now, Scooter did a great job of following the teachings of Jesus, which is what we all want to do. 
showing kindness to others is really a big deal. Everyone here wants to be treated with kindness, so that's how we should treat other people. In fact, that's exactly what Jesus has to say in the Bible verse uh, that we're going to talk about right now. All right, in the Gospel of Luke, this is the third book of the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke. This guy, Luke, walked around, interviewed people, and, and wrote kind of a, a, a biography of Jesus' life and his death and his resurrection. And in it, he, teach, he, he recalls one of the things that Jesus taught people, and that is this, do to others as you would like them to do to you. And he, we see that in Luke chapter 6, verse 31. We have a fancy name for this verse. It's called the Golden Rule. Do to others what you would like them to do to you. Now, we've been uh, at the Daily Snack learning some different kind of fun snack-oriented ways to learn some of these verses. This is a really important verse for you to learn. Like I said, it's even got a special name. Now, the last couple Daily Snacks where we've learned a verse, we've, we've put a thing in our mouth and we've tried to scream it out while we have food in our mouth, which is fun. I've got another one for you, too. And it's uh, based on the game Cookie Face that we like to play here at Kids Church, where you... Uh, put a cookie on your forehead and then you drop it onto your mouth. So here's how this is going to work. I hope you grab your snack. If you don't have one, hit pause, grab a snack. A cookie is perfect for this. You're going to put that cookie on your forehead. While it's on your forehead, you're going to say the memory verse. Do to others as you would like them to do to you and then try to drop that cookie into your face. Now, with all the times that we've played this particular game in kids' church, I don't think I have ever actually played it for myself, so I'm going to play it with you right now. So here we go. Uh, maybe I should take the hat off as well. I don't want to get cookie on my tiger's hat. So uh, here we go. We're going to put this on here. We're going to say this verse, do to others as you would like them to do to you. Here we go. So I've got my cookie up there on the count of three. One, two, three. Do to others what you would like. Oh, no. I've messed it up. Do to others as you would like them to do to you. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Do to others as you would like them to do to you. Luke chapter 6, verse 31. All right, here we go. Time to aim for our mouths. Uh, that didn't work. It went nowhere near my mouth. It hit me, I think, like here somewhere. All right, did you guys get the cookies in your mouth at home? If not, hey, five-second rule. This cookie is still good. I'm going to eat it as soon as I sign off with you, which is going to be right about now. But let's talk about this verse first. This verse, do, uh, do you always deserve to be treated with the kindness that you want to be treated with? I'm guessing you don't. Sometimes you're crabby to your parents. Sometimes you say something mean to your friends. You don't deserve them to treat you with kindness, but they do it anyways because they love you. This is why it's such an extreme way to live, to show kindness to others when they don't deserve it. Because you don't deserve kindness, people are kind to you, and so you should do the same for them. God knew what he was doing when he designed us. He knew the extreme way he wanted us to live was the best way for our world. With that being said, I will see you tomorrow as we figure out a little more about how to take this extreme concept and put it into practice. Love you guys. Bye-bye.